Hi, welcome. In this video, we'll learn few more methods of the console API. Today, we'll see the trace and the error. Both methods output the exact same information on the console, but there's a few differences between these two methods also that is related to the their formatting. So here, um, this method is will be called when we we'll click this button, but this method internally calling the function one and function one is calling the function two. So there's a no such logic, just calling few more methods internally, just to give you the use of trace and error. So trace method is actually give you the complete stack trace of this call. So here in case if I type the console.trace, in the trace message optional so in case if you want to pass your message that's okay in case if you don't pass it will use this keyword console.trace if i come on this page refresh our page click on button you will see it is giving one tiny icon one default message and it is giving you the details of this call so it gives you the whole stack trace that from which point it's called then it is calling this function then this function at line number 14 calling function one then function one at line number 18 calling function two and the function 2 at line number 22 is responsible to call the console trace. If you pass some message here, then this message will be used instead of console trace. So let's refresh our page, click on button this. This information block is called group. This tiny icon is used to expand and collapse the underlying details. Now we'll call the error also just to show the difference between the trace and stack refresh page click on button you can see this block is expanded this is collapsed so by default the error will be collapsed trace will be expanded but you can expand this on clicking this but now you can see the details why the information why they have the full information trace and your error has exact same details. The other difference is the error has some red shade of the formatting while trace is do not have that formatting. So that's a difference between the trace and error and you can use these two methods to get the whole stack trace of this current call whenever you need to get the full stack trace of this call. That's all in this video. Next video we'll be seeing how we can create a such group and have some internal data ourselves. Thank you so much.